Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's edition of the Mob Lob Podcast. I'll be joined by the wonderful Brona Diamond while Patty is out exploring Australia. And this episode is brought to you, as always, by our friends at the Hinch Distillery. A local drink for local people. That's a Madeira whiskey I have in front of me. Don't know if you can see it. I'm not reaching over. It's absolutely lovely. Give it a try. Call down to the Hinch Distillery. Have some fucking whiskey. It's a lovely place. We're also joined, as always, by our friends at Manscaped.com. You know what they do. I've done this ad read hundreds of times, and I'm going to do it a hundred more. There's always so many ways I can allude to shaving your bollocks. But that's what the product is. You have to shave your fucking bollocks. We can save you money, get you 20% off state-of-the-art meal grooming from our friends at Manscaped. If you're down with that, give me a hell yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Sean. Manscaped.com. You get the lawnmower. You get the nose trimmer. He does your ears too. You get a nice wee pair of boxers. You get the ball toner. You get the ball deodorant. You know what you get. You know what this is. You know what I'm about to say. I will continue saying it. Manscaped.com. Use the code MUBLOOD. 20% off. I'm also on tour in the winter. Uh, scumbag Millionaire will be coming to a city near you. We got Nuri. We got Bangor. We got Dublin. We got Nuri. We got Oma. We got Belfast. Waterfront Hall. Very big show for me. Come see me do stand up live. I swear I'm actually quite good at it. It'll be a fucking great show. It'd be my favorite show I've done yet. I haven't done it yet, but it'll be my favorite show. Please come to that. Uh, enjoy this week's episode check out the mob love patreon if you haven't we have over two years of extra episodes q a's guest episodes uh live podcasts there's so much on the page and it's it's cheap as a pound it's cheap as a pound check it out and enjoy this week's episode Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mob Blood. Party is away in Australia for the next few weeks, so I will be joined by multiple guests. Today joining me is P- podcast favourite, Bruna Diamond. Hello, thank you, you are stuck with me. Ack, they love you. They, love, they like you more than like me, for fuck's sake. They love you. I find that very hard to believe. No, no, they, a lot of them You're don't. You're adorable. They, they don't. Um, oh, apologies, up. I kept you. I, I will oh, admit, God. straight up, I was like quite, quite late. Well, don't even have the energy to wank, Bruno. I'm very, very sleepy. What time did you get back? So tell us where you were. I was in Norway and Denmark doing support for Shane on his European shows. So they were Amsterdam, Denmark and Norway. We went to Amsterdam last week and then Norway and Denmark. Amsterdam? Yeah, it was fun. Did you smoke in the doobie? We did. Did you? We did. And I used to be a big smoker. Yeah. Big smoker. Here, we have a wee bit close to you. I used to be a big smoker, and now every time I smoke, I have anxiety. I can't smoke, and I really can't yeah. smoke anymore. I used to love chill. Do you know what it is? I think it's whenever you get older and you get more aware of your own mortality. So you're shit. So yeah. you think I can die? I can actually fucking it, die. It, it's not death. It's just I've shit to do now. Mm. When I was in uni, yeah. and I would smoke. You didn't have shit to do in uni. You've sat there, being, <laughs> you know. You've just to sit there and go like, Mate, what if war didn't exist?" Yeah. And like, no, that's not the best Beatles album. Yeah. But now you smoke it, and you're like, "Fuck, did I fill out those passport forms?" Yeah. Where's my birth certificate? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Where the Damn. hamsters live in the wild? I'm certain the bins are out tomorrow. I'm certain mm. of it. Deep shit, like yeah. stuff, stuff that you worry about. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Absolutely. So it just worries me now. <laughs> so I have to overcome a wave of crippling anxiety. Mm. And Absolutely. then twenty minutes later, I'm fine. Yeah, but it's probably no, like, like if you if you go get over that wave first, that initial oh my god. But I don't like it. It makes me feel too existential. I talk. I think too much. It makes me too stupid. My ideal drug would be one that just doesn't make you think at all. You no, know, like a downer. Like yeah, a di- you just want sleepers. You want some z- <laughs> <laughs> Only girl spikes herself over hypno. I'm going out. Ask for the Angela. Night. Who was it? It was me. It was me. I'm <laughs> Angela. Stop. What did get? It just makes me so stupid. Like yeah. I was asking people questions, they were answering them, and I was going, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. Like if I was going, "Oh, I just want to go get chips," and they'd be like, 
I can do chips. And I'm like, why are you talking about chips? Yeah. Even though I'd say yeah. <laughs> I do. That's me just in everyday yeah. life. Yeah. I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> like, I'm the I'm the worst person for asking somebody what their name is and then as soon as they've said it, completely forgetting what their name is and never being able to ask them again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No. Like, you're like, your name is dude from now on or honey or love. Yeah. Like, that's it. There's people outside my kid's school that I've known for 12 years now and I'm yeah. still like, oh, sorry. We bird. check your yeah, yeah. bird. You do. Yeah, you, yeah. you love throwing. I love bird. bird. Yeah, yeah, everybody's bird doesn't mean that I don't remember your name because you got to keep them on their fucking toes. You know, yeah. the ones that go, "Oh, you're calling me bird because you don't remember my name." And you go, Sandra. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm only joking. I don't know I, any Sandra. I'm, <laughs> I'm a nightmare for. I'll ask people who I've known a long time, "Where do you work?" And they're like, "You ask me this every time I see you," and I'm like. I don't know anything interesting about yeah, you. I'm trying. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know, funnily enough, Becky and Connor, that this, you know, um, Show Some Love podcast, right. they were talking, Becky's favourite thing to do, they went to like Methody. She went to Methody, who, and it's a really like, you know, bougie school. Yeah, and down she, the road from my school. Whenever she meets people from school that she knew, she just doesn't ask them what to do for a living. And they're raging because they're all damned to tell you they're a doctor and all. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you're just like, well, how have you been? <laughs> See, my generation shit, everyone works in IT. Uh, everyone's job is the most boring fucking thing you have ever heard of yeah like you couldn't t- I have loads of friends that I actually couldn't tell you what to do though like Same they've here. told me yeah but I'll go sweet do you know <laughs> what I mean like they'll be going they got a promotion and I'm like yeah as you should fucking about time too I have no idea what you do also it's because people talk to me about what my job is a lot and then I have to go on oh, how's your job yeah so I'm being like oh I was in Denmark and then I was doing a festival and then yeah. shooting this video and then I was like and how's yours and I'm like oh it's a big HR shake up at the minute yeah. you know oh, the, and you're like I don't there's give someone a fuck. in the office you know she's just taking more than her, her necessary annual leave and Does we're raging about this bore you more than people talk in office politics oh, fuck. Do you ever go out with people oh. and they, they, they work together? Yeah. And they're talking about and you're just like, your job isn't even interesting while you're there. Like, I would mentally check out if I was working there. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> or Bell. the Bee Gees have just came in. I know. Where are you going to tell, by the way? I use my work. You came in with a fucking tambourine. Shut. How you doing? Good. Did you get my message there? No. I said, did Paddy and Glenn do a main app? We were talking. They done a main episode, yes, Good, on Patreon. Just Patreon. I did this for Patreon. Well, put it as main. I'll just cut out the part the where you Patreon said Patreon. All right. And oh. we'll do a Patreon too. All right, all right we'll okay. do that. Yeah, 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 all right. We'll yeah. do a main one. Dead on. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Because it just says at the start. That's I'll dead on. I'll for another week, you know? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. no bother. But um, what, what We're time? very well organised here in the Mobile Podcast. Uh, what time did you get? About 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I, you did um, a clap though beforehand, but there's a wee bit before yeah. that you might want to cut into. Yeah, I um, yeah, I fell asleep. Came off, I got off the. I literally got home at like five. Went so, yourself silly and fell asleep. Didn't, I didn't even. I, I wish I had of. No. Doesn't need one because yes. I've been traveling for three days in a shared room. Ah, oh, no way, serious. Mm. A shared room. I don't oh. think I'll do that much, and then you get like three days where you can't. It's fucking near falling off you. Hotel rooms. Hotel yeah. rooms are the worst for like <laughs> if you're there and you're like. I'm on my own. This is a waste. Yeah. You know I, mean? <laughs> like... <laughs> no, I, I hate when my hotel... Like, Paddy always gives me shit because I'll stay in the worst hotel room you've ever seen. But my, see if I get a really nice hotel room, I don't leave it. Yeah. See, see if I have a, a hotel room I can Chromecast on. Ugh. Yeah. You can stick Netflix. Or Why does it... It hardly ever works. So, do you ever notice that? You go in and you're like, yes, pro, and it doesn't fucking work. Well, it works most of the times for me, like. Or sometimes it doesn't work and I'm yeah. just so pissed off by it all. But if I can get, if I can get a wee Disney plus going, I'm like, I'm, I'm staying in here now. I'm not yeah. going out. I'm at that age now where I think, see whenever, you, see now that you're like in your 30s and you go... I'm watching I'm watching New Girl for the first time, right? And like really enjoying it. And there's this thing where they go to New York, Nick and Smith, Smith and they're like, Smith. We're men of means. You know where you like you act like you have money but you don't actually have money? Yeah. So like Me every day of my life. We're going to we're going to meet Curtis's we're going to London because his mate's birthday party is gonna be in like July or something. So we booked away and I was like, Where was Stan? And then I looked and there was all these hotels for two nights and it was like 200, 300 pound and I went, fuck it. I'm booking the Hilton Zion, <laughs> right? I was like, sure, now 600 pounds, fuck all the drugs. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and you're yeah. going like, sure, why not? We'll go all in. We'll go bougie. We'll probably not even be in it. Yeah, but I want to sit there. 
and eat yeah. the wee biscuits and drink the free tea. Yeah. Just to be like, I got my fucking money's worth. <laughs> we stayed in a Rallison in Denmark. Was oh, in? was it nice? Fucking, it's so fancy. Oh, was it? So fancy. Fancy as fuck? Yeah, like you couldn't even press it. The, the elevators didn't have bottles. Tell me this. Did the shampoo, was it stuck to the wall yeah. or did you get wee bottles? No, it was stuck to the wall. I usually think whenever you have wee bottles of shampoo that you can steal, that's how you know you've made it. Yeah. Like yeah. it's not even handcuffed to the wall. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Well, that's right. <laughs> See, I would bring my own. Yeah, do you? I, I like bringing my own. Yeah, because it's shit, like, it's body shed. wash. Yeah, it's shit. It's fucking, you're going. Yeah, see, see if I can, it's like, oh, this is just for your hair, your face, and your bars. Just all of them. Everything. Everything. Like, nothing yeah. is that good. Yeah. It covers all of those areas. I don't trust it. Yeah. So I want my special shampoos, but when you're flying, you yeah. can bring fuck all with you. That's Thanks, true. 9 11. You can mm. bring fucking nothing with you. I know, the ambassadors of Taliban got everything Taliban for fuck's sake. I, exactly. Didn't they? Exactly. I know, fucking, like, you're going to yourself, seriously. I have. <gasps> you know I, I'm like, not bringing the plane down with a can of fucking sure after. Sure yeah. deodorant. Like. It's Lynx Africa, tell the truth. Isn't um, it? It's Lynx Ice at the minute. Is it? Do yeah. you want to know something? I love Lynx. Can I tell I love Lynx. Yeah. Be as snobby as you want. Lynx, See, lovely. See, whenever a fella walks, he could be the biggest munter, right, fart sniffer in the world. And he'll walk by and he's wearing Lynx Africa and I will go, I would. I yeah. totally would. Like, he smells like being 16 so, in the Falls Park. Someone who's smelly turns me. Yeah. Ooh, uh, there's nothing ooh, more ooh, ooh, revolting. Like, as well, no, somebody with ugly, bad teeth. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, because you go to yourself... The first thing that you normally do if you get with somebody is kiss them. Yeah, right in the teeth. Right in the teeth. Like, you know, clink, yeah. clink. Gives them, gives them molars. You cheers like teeth together. I check for, Slanch ca- I check for cavities. Like, uh. <laughs> do you know, actually, Curtis works in houses in a way. He's an electrician. He um, was telling me that he was in this woman's house and her teeth were that bad. <laughs> I, I actually can't listen to him <laughs> telling the story because I, oh, oh, oh. I heave. But it... She had like her teeth were about an inch thick with all the plaque on them. It looked like she had like three, uh, oh. th- three layers of teeth. Ooh, no, right no, no, now, I'm no, going no, to try no. and get through this without actually thinking about it. But this other, <clears throat> the plumber that as he said her breath was rotten. It smelled like halito- like something had died. Halitosis, super califragilistic. <laughs> You've got halitosis, right? Okay, and the plumber was walking through the hall, and she kept trying to talk to him, and he was going. Yep, yep. And she was going, and will you get that? And he went, that's no more. And he just like puked all up her hall and barfed. And he was coming out. There was like sick coming through his fingers. <laughs> and Curtis was standing, killing himself, laughing. And he went, I'm sorry, love. Like she was, right? <gasps> Do you know what? Like big, plaquey teeth, cheesy oh, teeth. Oh, oh plucky uh, bastard. No, see, even thinking about it. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh no, it's getting me. It's getting me. Talk about something else. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. Did you do any questions? Do you know, uh, no. So, do you know what I hate about having a vivid helpful. imagination? Oh, when you think about something like that, my mind goes into a great detail. Yeah, like you, you've already you've already picked a bit of plaque off her tooth. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, uh, yeah. Stop it! Like I can go on into great detail in my mind. It's it's worse. Oh, so I used uh, to be a man <clears> in my taxi, right? See, going down. <sighs> The, the sc- going down to St Dominic's in the morning <laughs> he's watering up and everything he's like stop it flesh flesh fresh running water no, think, flesh think of a waterfall water. okay. flesh flesh running yeah. water with teeth uh. <laughs> uh, whenever I get into the taxi in the morning there was this guy who used to get in on the Andy Town Road and he looked like he was already dead like his skin was grey right and he would get in and I to this day all these years later have never smelled anything as bad as that man's breath to the point where, see, if he got into the taxi, I would just, like, you know, as a kid going into school, you didn't have any fucking money. You had enough for your taxi further and back and maybe a wee fag out the back. Yeah. I used to just waste my money. I used to just get out of the taxi right away because he was javing. He was absolutely... Why, you, why was he in your taxi? I, Oh, black, black taxi. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, we yeah. have that. <laughs> like, you have to share. I remember one day going to the man, so like, please, mister, moment. please don't yeah. be stopping for him, please. Like, yeah, yeah. That bad. Mister, please, he smells. Like, no. I'm definitely sure that man's yeah. dead now. There's no way he could still be alive. <laughs> like, I think he was rotten from the inside out. That's so weird. Like, I always forget when you talk about black taxis that they're a shared thing. Do you not yeah. have them over your way? We wouldn't need them. No? No. Why not? 
we would just get buses in the town at the time. Like, oh yeah, you have good infrastructure, don't you? No. The Protestants have good bus routes. We and just stuff. don't. <laughs> what happened was we just burnt all of our buses. We burnt them all. Didn't we? <laughs> yeah, and they came. And up. then we're like, no, the country don't support us. <laughs> and, and then you send one. We don't get nothing good. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, why aren't they coming here? <laughs> <laughs> no one yeah. comes here, it's fucking hectic. Can we get bus. a fucking bus on this room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No one, no one gives us ours a postman. And can't, no one gives us anything. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> but the black taxis are a damn trade. Now you don't, but then I used to get a taxi outside Blinkers. Yes. Um, you know, over to the university? Near uh, Fresh Garbage? Yes, the d- face in the Northern Wig. Yeah. And they used to all stand with a wee copy of the Shankle Mirror under their arm and all, all three pages of it. Right. And then. And then the Shankle had a paper? Yeah, it was a Shankle Mirror, uh-huh. yeah. And you used to, I used to always want to go, mate, give us that. Let us read it. Because you know the way you just want to be nosy. Oh, uh, imagine but, page three of the Shankle Mirror. <laughs> 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 Big Sandra, 47. Oh my God. One of the. <laughs> Reader, one of, Reader's the waves. Yeah, what about someone with tits where it's just nipples? Like, so flat, it's just nipples. That's what she. <laughs> short uh, hair. But, uh, what, what would her wee, like, bio be? <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like Jessica likes to. Uh, go for a little <laughs> dancer on the beach. Legs, yeah. legs what, cup of tea, yeah. red, white and blue. Love a strawberry and lime, cup of berg. Uh-huh. And, and, and marching sh- up a big deck on and as a, well. And a <laughs> <laughs> marching up a deck. <laughs> marching up a big deck, yeah. If it's a good one. <laughs> I, like, I like it, that guy can get my steps in on. <laughs> if I can't walk up it, I am sitting on it. Not <laughs> <laughs> Fuck uh, we're going to need to cut this. <laughs> when he said, I don't give a fuck. No, um, I think Connor was really traumatized by me saying that um, Barry Keoghan had a decent willy the other day, that it was decent. I don't, I don't believe it's real. He, apparently he didn't use a prosthetic. No one, I, I, I don't believe movie dicks. Or really? I don't it believe, didn't look that. I don't believe the that. propaganda given to me. I thought it was just like an average one, was it not? It was all right. Like, it was nothing you're... to write home to your ma about. <laughs> what are you writing home <laughs> to your ma about? Dear mom. <laughs> dear mom. I... Size of his cock. Yeah. <laughs> the war continues. It has, been, it has been 68 weeks since my last letter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the whole time I've been in a catatonic state thinking of Barry Keoghan's penis. Yeah, Was it really that big? <laughs> like, yeah. I ho- hopefully we should end the war by Christmas. Yeah. Oh my I, love. Tell I, Benji I said hello. I did get really drunk before and confessed to my ma. Right, remember the big dick shit, Pam? Tell Tiny Tim I won't be home for Christmas. <laughs> I've got Big Tim on here. <laughs> oh, he wants you hate of it, ma. You'd be proud of me. So who, who thought it was weird he had a big, you thought he had a big dick? I thought it was decent. I thought it was all right. It was, you know, just a dick. Yeah. And Connor, that does the show Some Love podcast, was like, I'm traumatised that you only think that was decent. And that she was like, <laughs> yeah. he was like, you're a size queen. And I was going, no, I mean, like, I'm not down on the wee dicks. Like, but I just thought it was like... Shout a, out to the wee dicks of the world. penis, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, we love to. Sometimes we like that too for a bit of comfort. No. I, I no have. one ever like you're a wee bit sensitive and you don't want to be poked anywhere wrong. Aye, aye. That'd he, be alright. He's not hurting anyone today. Not doing anybody any harm. Although I got drunk before and confessed to my mum. My mum was going, what about that fella you were saying? He was a lovely guy. He brought you out to the theatre and all and he was doing well for himself. He had a great job. And I must have told her the real reason why I broke up with him when I was drunk. But cue my stepdad coming in weeks later and going, what happened to that fella you were going out with? He was lovely, he brought you to the theatre, he had a good job and all. And I went, I just didn't work out. Pops, I'm not in the right place at the minute, you know, I'm not. Yeah. And he walked out and he went, oh, that's too bad, love, don't worry about it. And my ma turned around to me and went, you're a lamb bastard. And I went, what? It just didn't work out. And she went, do you not remember telling me that you had to break up with him because he had a wee tiny cock? <laughs> <laughs> and I went... No, I didn't. No, I didn't. And she went, you did. You're a fickle, but you're shallow as fuck. And I went, well, I'm hardly that shallow. I'm too small. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Do you know what it was, though? He was lovely. And that does sound really, really fickle. Oh, yeah. No, it was like a midget's thumb in a oh, bush. Oh, it's happened to me. Like, it's fine. You know? No. <laughs> it's fine. No, but he, he wasn't funny like you either. Like, he didn't. Thanks. Do you know what I mean? No, you have yeah. to have something that makes you want to go. Well, his dick sounded funny. 
Yeah, what play did you just go to see? What? What play did you just go to see? I can't tell you because that'll identify him and he'll oh. know who he is and I don't want him to get a complex. He, he knows that he's got a small dick. Ah, yeah, yeah. Stage. Anyone with a small dick, no, they know they have a small dick. But like, no, I'm not being a sex queen. I'm really not. But this was micro penis. Oh, fuck. You know, like, yeah. could have got the LA for it. Yeah. Oh. In fact, he probably did. He did have a nice car. <laughs> He did have a nice car. I'll say this. Anyone Deck taking LA. you to the theatre is a small dick. Yeah. No, no, Shut up! There's no big dick boys at the theatre. Like, How do you know? Because I go to the theatre. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good. I love, I fucking love plays. That's how I know. I love playing on myself. Love. Life is like a game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the, Mommy the, 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 I'm not going to see mom. <laughs> what are you going to see? What theater are we talking about? Here's he looking around going Yeah he's small dick, mommy's he's the small bla- dick. Is mommy not the one with the black face? The jazz singer That's God what- I love ya God I love ya Mommy yeah Yeah this is jazz, like the most racist fucking play But ever. people just parody it It's not really Mommy Sometimes mommy. east Sometimes west you ever, <laughs> you ever seen it? No So racist I've never seen it Al, jo- Al Johnson Johnson yeah, yeah. So Mama. fucking racist. Have you seen all the Nickelodeon pedo stuff? Have I seen? All- yes, I have, Sean. What is it? Um, Having my childhood destroyed did, one did, interview at a fucking time. Yeah, have you what? been watching the, the episodes? No, I knew- where can you watch it? I've only, I think you can buy it off Amazon, but I've been fainting wee streams of it on Twitter. Yeah. So, um, no, the way, last year, I think it was, your man, Dan Snyder, who was like, um, he was the Weinstein of Nickelodeon, like the yeah. dude ran Nickelodeon. So, like, he was like the producer of like loads of these Nickelodeon kids shows. Yeah. And so, like, a lot of uh, actresses and and stuff have came out and said that like they were abusing stuff as a child, um, or that he was inappropriate with them, um, and then, uh, this week they've released like a documentary, like <gasps> it's like in four parts. And uh, it's like not only just went into Dan Snyder, but it's went into like all these different staff members at Nickelodeon who like nonsense. M- yeah, all molested all the kids. And yeah. like Drake Bell was assaulted. No, Drake and Josh. Drake. Yeah, Drake. I love him. He yeah. was. He was pedophile. Eleven. And, and the guy who did it, Brian Peck. Yeah. Went to jail in like 2005 for doing it, got out, and then got hired to work on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Yeah, he started working at Disney. Following that, like, it was known. It was so, good. what, hold on, he was a known pedophile. He, he went to jail for it. Cut their balls off. That's the only thing you can do. Like, those, That's such a ma response. I love it. But they can't be reformed, those people. They just need to be nah. put on an island where they can't hurt anybody. They tried doing that. I, the, the, yeah, yeah. Oh, there was an alien. <laughs> they tried to, and all the like, all the rich beetles went, "Oh, brilliant!" <laughs> it didn't work. Right? Yeah. Fuck off. People thought that was even more. All you're doing is making it harder for the kids <laughs> to get away. You just <laughs> <laughs> all you're doing. Shut up. <laughs> That's you all you're doing. He kicked the problem down the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh look! Up. If it isn't the bridge, I said I would cross when I came to it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, stop it. There isn't a troll <laughs> under the island. Yeah. There's under the bridge. There's just fucking I, Harvey Weinstein. Drake Bell was the heartbreaking one. Like, yeah. Was he? Um, what, they all weren't? No, they, they weren't. But his story is brutal. But was it was it? also Sorry. just like, it was like the other ones. I, I was like that <laughs> emotionally <laughs> attached to them because like I didn't really watch all their shows. I was a big like, Zoe 101 guy. So the stories about uh, that. Yeah. Are, I got all my romantic lessons from Zoe 101. Did Don't she get nar- <laughs> What? And the, they were all Australian. They had that like accent. No. And Zoe One Hundred One doesn't work. What's well, wrong with H two O? I'm thinking of Erin Air Nor No Clow- Chloe Nor. There's a shark in the H two O was like if they touched water, they turned <laughs> yeah. into mermaids. <laughs> and these cons ne- never avoided water. Speaking of like, <laughs> just weird just never things. learned to get out of its way. Just remember round the twist. Do you remember round the twist? Have you ever? Have I felt like this? No. When no. I'm strange. Oh, you are too young. Yeah. It used to be this like Australian thing come on like BBC and they all lived in a lighthouse and all this weird shit always happened to them. No. No. All right. Okay. The I Dan Snyder thing, right? That's super cool. Have you got your phone? Yes. So he apparently had a food fetish. Oh. Where he would like, you know, he'd like to give young actresses little foot massages. Um, see, go on Google there, right? See the way like Tarantino has a food fetish, mm. so all the female actresses get their feet out, have their feet out. Is that why Uma Thurman has that whole scene where she's like, where, where she's just fucking toe? around, they're just fucking cans, like, yeah. 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 So Dan Snyder, don't, don't tell her yet. 
Look up the Nickelodeon logo around 2005. And you'll recognise this logo. Nickelodeon. So I remember at the time being like, that's weird. Yeah. Even as a kid being like, why is you it? Remember the Nickelodeon hotel that would be advertised? Nick, 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 nick. I love that. Um, but the the hotel they advertised it was in like Florida. Yeah, that was the, like, ob- the the advert yeah. song. And um, and they had an Xbox in every room. Um, maybe two thousand six. They had an Xbox in every room. That's what the, was in the advert, and I was like, oh my god! Even though I had an Xbox. Do you remember when <laughs> <maybe laughs> six o'clock would come and you would hear that Keenan and Kale? Do you know what? I'll I'll just find it for you. Separately. There's all Nickelodeon. Sorry. Um, no. Everybody out there, go run and tell your homeboys and homegirls that we keep in the Keep it happening in the damn, afternoon. Bam, 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 I, like, bam, some bam. of the other things, it was like, uh, it showed you Ariana Grande. Like, when, she, uh, she get nonced oh, as well? She's definitely been nonced. So, like, there was um, an episode of Victorious. Oh, yeah. my God. <gasps> Do you remember that? that yes. Angle? Yeah. And that then, is so fucking obvious, too. Big, big food. Yeah, and then look, let's see if there's a compilation of like all the things. They don't even try and hide it, do they? They're is. just like, here, I'm an aunt, I love feet. <laughs> Bang. Yeah, and uh, but the Ariana Grande thing was like, there was an episode where like she's like filming a well, YouTube video in her room, and she's like, it's meant to be like, oh, she's being so random, and uh, squeeze a potato. Funny. And it was like, She's like, let's try and get water out of a potato. And then it's just and, 30 and seconds of her being like, oh, oh, oh. Are you serious? Swear to fucking God. There's a lot of them. There's a load of Where them. Where were the parents? They were on set. On set going, that's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> that's we, like, they were just throwing money at these parents. They didn't give a shit. No There's way. loads of like Amanda Bynes ones too. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. She, something she, she happened got, to Amanda. Really badly done in, like, did she? Yeah. Something yeah. you? Something definitely happened to that girl because oh, she's fucked now. Like, I know, like, got not only from like all the drugs, the, the abuse stuff, but also like, I think her parents were just shit to her as well. A lot of those kids' actors, their parents are they just horrible. they were bred because they're like, right, we need to make money off you, yeah. away you yeah. go, it's yeah, like do whatever you want. Britney was a Disney kid, yeah, she's fu- do you know what I was thinking about the other day? Now, this is gonna sound a bit fucking random and wacky but I was getting washed or something the other day and you know, we just have these random thoughts and I thought I can't believe that I'm living in this particular universe where Britney Spears is a fucking weirdo like I'm pretty sure there's an alternate timeline out there where like she's running the world like how is she such that's the such... most mental stream of consciousness you've ever <laughs> yeah that's just the way I you, think you think there's a world Britney Spears is president yeah like <laughs> how did she turn out to be so fucked like she could have, she had, could have had everything. And now she's just, she's just doing burly whirlies in her fucking living room all day long. Fucking people didn't look after them. Like, you know, like, these people were very young with extreme levels of fame. They, she's they, like they a wee Springer on. Spaniel chasing her fucking tail in her living room. Do you think, see these videos she makes just? Yeah. Oh, oh, she's mental. It makes you dizzy. I remember she's like, oh, she's free. Like her parents don't control her. And then immediately she put their videos up. And you're like, mm. <laughs> maybe he was, maybe, maybe he was right. Uh, maybe dad had a point. Like, yeah. yeah maybe your dad insane. should have been looking after her. Yeah. You know, I definitely think that. Like, leave Britney alone. No, maybe, maybe yeah, go and like, check oh, on fuck, her. Yeah. Check on Britney, somebody. She's not well. She's not well right now. <laughs> she's she's really the American up. Connor Burns. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Could you think of any child stars that turned out fine? Ryan Gosling. Was he a child star? Yeah. Him, Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake were like Disney kids in the same like oh, year. It? Right. Right, okay. You come off of that, right? You've thought about this before. Yeah. yeah. You have This has been his week. I was trying to Ryan Gosling in the house. <laughs> look at it and I go, that's me. I'm thinking of Reynolds. That's why I'm confused. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thinking uh, of Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Gosling's the really white looking one, isn't he? Like, if you had the. Can. Like, Wasp. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yes, he is. I isn't... couldn't get Ryan, Ryan Reynolds' face out of my mind. I, I love Ryan Reynolds. Hey, I'm trying to think who. The, the Harry Potter ones turned out fine. Um. Yeah, yeah, they sort did. of did. Yeah, they did. Um, but some of the other ones that didn't. But then Selena Emma, Gomez, they, she didn't. Demi Lovato. Apparently, Selena Gomez is a horrendous drug addict. Well, yeah, yeah she's supposed to have been on her one. Yeah, yeah, like horrendous. Or is that Demi Lovato? I think it's both. Zac Efron was a bit fucked. He, yeah, I don't know what. He fell and him. broke his chin. Do you remember? He broke his jaw, uh, and, and that's he why he's walking oof. about there like fucking quagmire. <laughs> 
<laughs> he giggity, is, yeah. Giggity. yeah, he's got a big fucking hexagon face. Yeah. Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber started off rough, and then I mean, he's still a weird. I one. look back on how Love the Bieber. world treated him. Fourteen years old, and he was the first person the world unanimously went, "Let's cyber bully this fucking child." Did they? Yeah. Oh fuck! The world yeah. hated him. See, I think I was in uni at the time whenever he became like really big, so I was really drunk and not using the internet. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I yeah. remember being fourteen and it just hating Bieber. Really? Because he was everywhere. just on principle. Yeah, he was everywhere, and then he brought out that album that was a wee bit EDM. It was two thousand and fifteen. The world had, changed. He had that album had like sorry and all on it. And we went. Oh, we where were do wrong. you now that I need, need you? you. Beep, beep. Yes, and the word went. Yeah. We're Let sorry. Let me love yeah. you. Yeah. Let me love you. As long <laughs> as, do you want know song changed them for me? That as long as you love me, we can be starving. That That's his early. next stars oh, in your eyes. That was nope. a bit too early that, for me. That changed right? it for me. The one that started turning Bieber for me, I, I was like, it was 2012, and he brought out boyfriend. If I was a your boyfriend, I'd never, never, never let, let you, you go. go. Yeah, oh really? Were well, you swaggy. looking in the mirror rehearsing it and all? Yeah. Just singing swaggy. the code? I hate it. And I was wearing I like my Megadeth to top, like going like, I can get in this. Did you like That's him? That's the one I really hated. S- at that point, secretly. But I, then yeah. 2015 I, rolled around and I was like, fuck. It's everyone okay. loves right. him now. Uh, yeah. I liked Baby. No. Baby. I still like Baby. I don't know. It's a good song. See, he's a wee bit too young for me in terms of like, I think I was laying in a field absolutely uh, off my face. So, well, I think was, Diddy got him. I think Diddy got him like... Got why is Diddy a nonce? Where have you been? Why are you racking my life? Where have you been? Diddy's doing diddling. Oh, Diddy's a diddler like Diddy did it. Stop it. Diddy done the diddling. Does he not like Diddy? Is he like... Oh, he's like... A, like a Diddy fuck? Yeah, yeah. What? Loves, loves big boys like. Does he? Oh. Ock your land. Go Stop. home. Have yourself a wee Google later, Bruna. It's well, a, but what do you want me to do after that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Diddy's a fucking nonce. Uh, he's, uh, he's a wrong on that, Diddy. Stop it. I love that one where he's dancing and he's going, last night, couldn't even get an answer. No? And he's trying to dance and it's really wacky. I don't, I don't know that song. Next thing you know, you're going to be telling me Drake's a nonce, but then I reckon I could be. Well. Well. <laughs> well. He's, we don't have anything yet, but he's questionable. Weird. Can I just say this here, though? Fuck Justin Timberlake, man. Fuck. Really? Well, what Justin Timberlake did? Right. Do you know the way he came out and he, right, he was dead popular because everybody was like, yeah, Britney done number on him. Like, she done that dirty on him. And yeah. he's really she fucking... She snogged Madonna. He put her on blast, like, on all his album, like, singing, like, fucking Cry Me or Ever, You Were My so- I was ready to give you my name and all. Turns out, he made her have an abortion. Yeah. What did he do? So, I don't, like, I'm not saying that he fucking... Like coat hanger or anything. oh right right but, right like he, he apparently she was pregnant and he, him and his management were just like no you can't I remember I've heard this and then she cried and he sat on the other end of the bathroom playing the guitar which isn't funny <laughs> but it's very funny that's very Come here, he like, she's cra- <laughs> like, she was that's re- probably where he came up with that song she was really upset about it and he's on the other end just being like today is gonna be this <laughs> so see if you look at the video of her you know that um Every time I try to fly, I fall. When she kills herself in the bath, I seen and that. she's sitting at the end of it with a wee baby, you're like, duh, right? She's like going, ah, oh, I think, oh, shit. yeah, yeah. absolutely fucking. And he also exposed, and we all hated on her. He also exposed Janet Jackson's tit. Yeah, for bloody. How did Janet Jackson no, get in trouble for that? I know. Uh, he she got in trouble because he whipped her baby. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he had that gonna have you naked by the end of this song. Boom, dong, dong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One tit. And here, it had a wee star on it. No, yeah, 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 yeah. It, like, it was a and nice I was like, thing. she got her nipple out, and I'm like, it's not her actual nipple. Yeah, but at the With same time, nips. what if she did? She's got them motherfucking star nips. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, uh, you probably Miss Jackson, if you're not nasty. Yeah. Did you see him trying to dance, though, recently? Ja- no. It was just like, when your dad's at the disco. <laughs> oh, have you ever seen it? It actually makes me fucking cringe thinking about it. It's a it's video of him beatboxing at an ensign oh. concert. Yeah. Oh. They call me Timberlake. Timberlake. <laughs> and you're like, oh, that'd make me have an abortion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that's awful. Maybe he was announced, and that's how you know. Probably he was a Disney yeah. kid. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm just when you see all those old Disney kids, you're like, that the fucking <clears throat> went through all you like. Oh dear love. Bless them. Fucking bastards. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. It's rather the only you get them where you're like, fuck, every, oh, everyone is in those. My yeah. God. What is wrong with them though? I think they get that much power and that much money that like they don't have anything that even gets their heart rate going anymore because they can just do anything they want. So they think I'll just go and take somebody's innocence away and be an asshole. I think cunt. It's, a, it's a power thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a power thing. But it's also, I remember used to be like, you could, you can, why would you work in kids' TV if you're a pedophile? But why would you do that? Now so I'm looking back, I'm like, that's where you're gonna go. Yeah. That's where they are. Absolutely. Look at that's you. That's where the seven. good looking kids are. That's where you're mm-hmm. gonna go. We're Don't gonna... go fishing in the Sahara. Exactly. Like, it's. I remember seeing, I'd heard rumors about Dan Schneider and was like, he looks like such a pedophile he couldn't possibly be. <laughs> it's too obvious. I don't know if, yeah, you, the man's a walking advertisement yeah, you can't for a pedo. Look that much of a pedo and be a pedo. You have to be self aware. Yeah. And then he's fucking weird. <laughs> he's not even tram. Yeah, no. Do you know what I mean? I, I need to find that, that documentary. I need uh, to find it, I want to watch it now. Good. It was very good. Where do you, did you get it? I've, I've still to watch the last one. I, I found it on Twitter. Right. It's called um, Quiet On Set. And um, if you search like Quiet On Set Part 1 or. Episode one or something. Ugh, it gives me the shivers, like actually thinking it's about wild. that type of stuff. Like it gives me a yeah, oh yeah, it's it's mental. It's proper ick, isn't yeah, it's, it? It's brutal. Like absolutely disgusting. Speaking of Twitter, I am only starting to realize now that Twitter is effectively just a porn site. Twitter's mental. Have you seen this? Twitter like, is insane. Just You're like going on to check the Premier League scores, and some guys like check out my video, full anus. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Like full butthole in yeah. the face, yeah. the tool, beige daisy to the. I word. think what Twitter is going for now is like we're the site that has all the, the early uncensored, internet, fucked up stuff. Yeah, like we're you see freedom get, of speech. Do I see someone get a brick dropped on their head? Come to Twitter. <laughs> What? That's what it is. That's what that whole episode is. When is he just so- going to call the quit zone, change it back to Twitter? It's, oh, it's not X. It's not. You want Stop to- trying to make X happen. Yeah. It's not happening. Yeah. You want to see somebody strangle their budgie to death? Yeah. Come to Twitter. <laughs> it's, it's always the, the porn boss that was so inappropriate. It's like. Did we need the sound effect? We didn't need that sound. <laughs> but tw- the porn bots just don't. They're not aimed at anything or something. They're random <laughs> posts. So it's like this young man has drowned at the age of 21. And the porn bots like, yeah. no way. See my tits though? And you're like, ah, I, can- I mean, I'll look yeah. at them. But, but it's not even is. just tits. It's like full on. Do you know what I mean? Like you could literally watch somebody taking a dump on it. Like yeah. somebody. <laughs> it's really extreme. We're yeah. very much in, in the OnlyFans phase of the world. Mm-hmm. It's a very common thing. Do you think in 10 years time it'll still be going or will people realise the fucking like implications? It'll be something else in 10 years time. Where do you go from there? Where do we go from here? So where, where, do, where do you go well, from it's, there? It's the same for any of like the... Onto the streets, babe. The Onto subscription the stuff is like going really out of hand because like everybody seems to they want all this different type of content. <laughs> Even with us, with our Patreon, you know, mm-hmm. like... Yeah. I can ask, did I have an OnlyFans? In like a private message, and I normally don't I'm respond dead. to all that. I, I actually, I'm thinking about money. <laughs> no way. Um, I was like, no, mate, but have a Patreon. Subscribe to that. And he was like, well, that's my Christmas ruined. And I was like, trust me, nobody wants to see these fucking pancakes for like, Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. We got your Christmas sorted, we mom. <laughs> all I want for Christmas is to see your baps. Like seriously, I just want the Christmas hamper. He wants a, che- a cheers. PS5. Cheers. Only cheers. <laughs> son, son, son's crying though. <laughs> Stop it! Would you do an OnlyFans? If I was good looking enough, yeah. Fuck it in comedy. No, but I mean, like, would you? Would you do it? Just yes. Your arsehole and... I get would get naked. Have you seen me? Most. <laughs> Most big shows in this country <laughs> end with me and Mickey Bartley taking our clothes off mm. because we get drunk and find it very funny. Then wake up the next morning and forgot we've done it. Ah, oh, get And we're away. like, ah, for fuck's sake, did I get my shirt off of you? No. It's very, I find it very funny. But today. nudity is funny and fu- like, It's funny when you're, when you're not in good shape. See, when you're in good shape and you do it. You're just showing off. It's not funny. Just fuck off. But I, I've, you know. Put your six pack away. Nobody wants yeah, to Yeah, I've got it. a wee keg belly and I'm a wee short guy. Yeah. It's funny when I, I do it. I but like if you're good looking and you do it, that's because other people were wanting to do Ring Girl this year, and you're like, you're in good shape, you can't do it. Oh, what? Oh, here. For the Ring Girl? Um, you've been. There's going to be auditions for Ring Girl this year. Oh? Because uh, Glenn said last week that he wants to put his name in the hat. Right. So. You think I'm getting, you, so you think I'm getting up that position? Well, Who's Glenn? think I don't get a say in this? Glenn. You're not getting rid of me. Oh. You're not getting rid of me. I want to see, like, Tommy McCarthy or Tyrone. 
be the ring girl because they're usually you in talk the ring them into that boxing because I'm not doing it. So I want to see them wearing like wee glittery fucking bikinis, maybe not on the bottom. So do we all? And um, just all like right. walking about, holding <laughs> the. I always the see any time. <laughs> see any time. I think. Here, Tommy, milk a cow there in front of me, boys, for Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching Tommy and Tyrone, yous are being the ring girls, right? Because if I have to get in the ring and box, then yous better show us your titties. I'm like, excited for it again. It's only for every time I think ring girl, I think of that episode of South Park where there's like, you know, the fucking some ugly woman doing the ring girl, and they're all going, Ooh, and she goes, "Why took a lot of confidence to do this?" <laughs> Is that the Family Guy? It's Angela. Oh, it's the Family guy. guy. This took a lot of confidence, oh, yes. like sagging. It's family guy then. I'm just wondering yeah. like, how drunk will I get this year? Yeah. Were you blocked last year? <laughs> Do you not remember me? No, I'm going to be there ne- this year. Sure, I'm doing I it. was so far. I was incomprehensible. You couldn't speak to me because so I was just like, I was, <laughs> I was fucking hammered. <laughs> I was about to say, sir, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't help. <laughs> That didn't help. When I'm tired, I do talk like that too. Do you? Yeah. Do you go in the full on? Because I don't have the energy in it to talk. I'll drive you home. Don't Thank worry. You. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll look I've, after you. Do you not remember me last year? Yeah. I, well, I was in Leeds at the time. Yeah. And I, like, we were on tour and I was watching the stream and I was going on though. It was, no. in the it was in the end when I was doing commentary and they're like, William, what do you think of tonight? And I was like, it's boxing. Sean's wee face. It's boxing, isn't it? It was, it was like after the darts there last week. I came, I was, I didn't get to go to that either because I was playing on the Dirty Onion. And uh, and I came in and Nicole was like, oh, the gig was, was the gig all right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's dead on. And she was like, Andrew's life? I was like, it's half one in the morning. Right. So I went in and I, I, I put it on and he's sitting there like <laughs> the randomer to his life, like Stephen going like, well, how are you? <laughs> how are you? Stop. And, and, and then Arn saw that he was on and Arn joined the, the leg <laughs> and Arn was going like, Andrew, mate, you okay? <laughs> uh, are you not going to bed yet? And, yeah. And he's going, Oh, <laughs> 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 no, it's funny. I run him doing that night. I in uh, the points. Was he, he, he was fucking. Hot. I've never seen him drunk. What's Andrew like? Drunk? I've never. I know he doesn't but, drink yeah. that much. I actually like. don't think there's any of the comedians who aren't lovely drunks. drunks yeah. That's why I don't drink anymore. Because you wouldn't be saying that. You're not lovely. Not all the time. No. no. Not all the time. Okay, um, I think I'm a gag, but and then I'll take it too far. Uh, Do you no, know what I mean? Yeah, we are, we're all lovely drunks. Four drinks in, and then more than that, we just talk we're about... ugly it. drunks. We just, no, not even that, we just talk about ourselves. <laughs> I'm really good, and, and no one tells me how good I am. Do you like, know that's why... No, I know you are. No, you are the best. Yeah. You, you are fucking brilliant. I see you on stage, I'm like, I got so good. <laughs> like, that's all of us. I mean, one I love you. Him. I love you. That's what, see, when we're all drunk, we get that stage, we're all drunk, and we like, someone will just take a sip and go... Are you happy? <laughs> and everyone else, everyone else, like, nah. <laughs> I love that the clowns club. Not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Not all the time. When was the last time you laughed? And why does nobody make me yeah. laugh? <laughs> I remember one time. I'm not saying who it was, but one time we were all drinking. We were all talking about being happy. One just put a drink down. Went. Happiness is a myth. <laughs> being well, alive like, is a fucking nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> being alive is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> I have so many questions about yeah. that. Why does the guy have like an Elvis haircut? I know. <laughs> Why is that when he sees the camera? Is that the first thing he says? I love all of it. Yeah. What if happened to him? Just, something must have happened just before that. Yeah, yeah. Being alive is a fucking nightmare. He was nightmare. probably just mugged. Like, I mean, he was in Castle Street. Do you know what I mean? It's probably like somebody's just grabbed the free mark bags yeah. and run away. And I like, just love cons getting hammered and going on live. Like, yeah, uh, they just see, sit there drunk at like six o'clock in the morning. It was fucking brilliant, like seeing Andrew on that. And then Arn goes. I love how Arn tried to rescue. I know Arn was like, <laughs> "Where's Julie, Andrew?" I was like, "She's, she's up in bed." <laughs> I mean, That's a real. Are you by yourself uh, yeah, right no, now? I'm, Where is the responsible going, adult? Oh, did, did you have a good night tonight? He's going, it was brilliant, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're good. We're good. Was he just lost and, it? And then uh, Arm was like, um, Andrew, here, I'm going to go off now. You're going to go to bed? Hi. And he's like, aye, aye, going to go up now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Arm, like, left the live. And then he just goes, right, well, we'll get somebody else on then. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a kid, you know, staying up late. <laughs> Andrew! 
That's the thing about the Jeffrey. It goes away. <laughs> then it comes back again. <laughs> He's more winds in the North Sea. He's fucking back. <laughs> I love that. I fucking I love, love that for you, himself. Andrew. Yeah, and, he, is so a, he is a lovely drunk, though. Uh, Bless him. The uh, darts looked fun. Yeah, looked brilliant. I was gigging, so I couldn't do it. But how how was uh, the uh, gigs the last week or so there? You were in Denmark? Scandinavia. Yeah. Scandinavia. Awesome. Really who, good. Who came to see us? Was it like... People from here. A lot of locals. A lot of locals. Was it? Norway was mainly all... They have weirdly like a big comedy following for English speaking comedy. Where, where was it? Really? Norway, Oslo. Oslo. And did you feel like you had the enunciate? Like did they understand it? it? The same on a gig in England. I would... This is my England gig in voice. I would speak like this mm-hmm. a lot slower. Rhythm's very different. Because if you speak at the cadence that I yeah, speak at... Yeah, they don't... Is, is it... The voice that people use for you when you tell them that you have cerebral palsy. Yeah, yeah, that voice. <laughs> no, no, the voice they use is no, you don't. <laughs> Fuck off. Get away. No, you don't. Have you ever had people like speak to you as if you're. Yes. I, and I just go, what are you doing? Do you? Yeah, what are you doing? Do you? Yeah. Do what you, you have people who talk to you like that? <laughs> like- what is your OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, and, and here, could you not even meet a girl over there or a boy? Is it, this is when people be like, oh, I'm 30, you get the ride. You just don't, like, the, the, the schedule wouldn't allow for it. You don't have time. Hmm. So, flying out to go to Denmark, I got I left the house at 2 in the morning. Uh, we went down to Dublin Airport, mm-hmm. got in at like 9, went for a walk, got changed, got food, and then went to the gig, left the gig, went straight to bed. Up at half six the next morning to fly to Oslo. Oh, got in again. That's there. where Roald Dahl was born. Is it? Mm-hmm. Is, he, is he Norwegian? Yeah, he was, he was born in Oslo. I just remember. Roald Dahl done boy. something, didn't he? What? Thinking. Ach, no, nah, that's enough. No, nah, come on, no. Nah. Right. Hold on, let me see. What did Roald Dahl do? No, wrong? stop it. Roll down. I didn't see you were going for your phone. What's I thought he you, done? I thought you got left like one of those new like paper triangle things. No, I go uh, yeah. one, two, when three, four, five. When was he born in September? His favorite color's blue. <laughs> <laughs> he, fuck, he, he, he fucked you the dog. You are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please, I don't want to know the um, girl held it in I don't think he did. I used to think I was Matilda because I loved reading and I used to be like, I want to be able to move stuff with my eyes. I've never, what did he do? What did he do? Um, what did Dal do? Uh, well, he, uh, he has received criticism for many anti-Semitic comments and his use of... Okay, ra- he was European in the early 1900s. He's, he's going to hate Jews. His it. use of racial and sexual stereotypes. Oh, oh well, fucking... Yeah, the Oompa Loompas weren't orange. Yeah, they weren't really orange. Uh, no, 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 the Oompa Loompas were supposed to be black, weren't they? In the books, they're black. Yeah, the original books. Yeah. They're basically just slaves. slaves. Yeah, 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 maybe down, but that sort of thing. And right? then in the movie, when they changed them, the Oompa Loompas, and he was like, what the fuck is this? Do you know? Where, where are my slaves? That Oompa Loompas, whenever they were recording that film, it was made, you know, the Gene Wilder one? Yeah. It was made in Germany, right? And they wanted to find, like, lots of um, dwarfs for the Oompa Loompa roles, but they couldn't. Because obviously in Germany a lot of them were not the eugenics were, in Germany were killed during the war genuinely <laughs> so they couldn't find any yeah. wee, like small people so what did they ch- children or yeah it was no it's like they used like one person and like multiplied them like I um, thought that was in the Johnny Depp one or it was that? like they used like the same four or something like that right okay you know, okay. Because it was dwarf shorty. That one on the dwarf shorty. Dwarf shorty. <laughs> yes. That one will never be tops. That movie. Yeah. I love that movie. Well, it's brilliant. The original Willy Wonka. If you want to, if you want to. What about the Willy Wonka experience though? I had some serious oh, I love that. fucking hilarity over that. Thank you. I mean that I was like that was fire festival for yeah. kids. Do you know what I mean? What What about uh, is Halloween lads holiday a way to? Amsterdam, we did. So we went for the day. Flight was meant to leave at like nine. Flight left at five. So we landed in Amsterdam for like half seven. Fucking hell. So our day in Amsterdam became four hours in Amsterdam, basically. Oh, really? 
No, don't get me wrong. Some of us uh, panicked when the flight got delayed. I thought um, you were going to say when the weed kicked in, but sure. Also, mm-hmm. yes. But like, so some of us panicked when the, the flight got delayed, a lot of admin done. Some of us decided to roll with it. Oh, yes, this is what you were talking about with Andrew. He was getting, he was already on to complain about that. Fucking getting... immediate. Like, he was loving it. He was going around talking to people he didn't know. Was he? Telling them what to do or not, like oh, how really? to get their money back. No, when it got delayed, some of us decided to drink instead. Mm-hmm. How'd you do? Had well, a that's... good time in the yeah. airport bar. I got fucking hammered and just played Mario Kart. Because oh. dr- we couldn't, some of us were Dropping like... Dropping wee bananas all over yeah. the place. Some of us were like, should we go home? Like, this didn't got be much of a trip. And I was like, I drove people here. I cannot go home yeah, now. Yeah, I can't I am drive. fucking blocked. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing Mario Kart and realised how hammered I was. I was like, guys, I can't drive in Mario Kart. I'm not driving in real life. <laughs> where were you playing was, Mario Kart? In the airport arcade. Is big... there an arcade in the airport? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like three machines. What airport? International. Oh, really? Yeah. It's gone up in the world. Oh, uh, it's totally... the, the machines are from like 1995. Vintage? It's like the original Jurassic Park movie machine is there. I, I, <laughs> is I, went, yeah. uh, I noticed to them, right? But I went out, me and the co were looking something to do a couple of weeks ago. And I went into the bowling alley in uh, Glen Gormley. And it's got like a wee arcade now on it. It like it hasn't changed from I'd say nineteen eighty eight. Oh get like, away. And you know what? It was just such it just looked like if you were able to like freeze a room in the mid nineties right. and just leave it as it is, like that's the way it was. You walked in there and it was like the most Was there like carpet thing. halfway up the walls? Yeah, there was like these fucking you know, we like bits of wall art. The, the at the cafe, you know, there was like a Coca Cola scene. Uh, you yeah, know, what? and it looked yeah. like the fucking USA in eighty four. Do like, you remember when everybody loved pebble logo? dash in their ceiling? Like, what was that all about? Uh, remember they used to have the wee lumpy walls. The wee lumpy. What did you call it? They were shiting on the <laughs> on the roof. I was like, I was no, in long hair. Yeah, never did. <laughs> Glad you said it because I really wanted to. There was a there was a name <laughs> That's for it. a joke. It. I can yeah, you can make it. The ticket about five million. Yeah, yeah. I really, I really wanted to. You leave the shit jokes to us. I really wanted to. But what did you call that? You used to call it some Cytex or something? No. What did they call it whenever they had the wee... Remember, it was like a textured wall. Everybody fucking loved it. I, it was just because the plasters were all... I don't know, I don't do... In the long cash, so they just... But, I'll, um, I'll get someone in you, to do it. I'll never do it myself. I hate it. But yeah. I, I, I... I hate bougie. it. I hate it. I actually loved going into that wee place. The... Long cash? No. <laughs> the bone of Ellie and playing corn. <laughs> just because. Same like, thing! <laughs> it, yeah. it just was so nostalgic. It was like such a wee. Like it hit loads of wee nerves. But see, that's how you know you had like a decent childhood. See, whenever I get uh, transported back to like the 90s, I just feel really traumatized and disgusted. Like, I fi- do you know where I can't we go were to big. this day? I cannot go to. If I walk into it, I get instant depression. The dairy farm. Right? See the dairy farm up what do you know where I'm talking about? It's up like on two Stewart's Town Road. It's just down there. Whenever I walk into it, it's like nothing has changed since I was a wee kid and it just gives me this trauma of being dragged around it by the roots by my man not getting a secret bar at the end. Like it's I just can't. What's that? Did you just get milk out of what is it? It's, no, it was like a shopping centre. It's a shopping centre. But it's just called the dairy it's farm. It's still called the dairy farm, no, isn't it? I get the press <laughs> when you go to a shopping centre that was class as a kid. And it's shit now. Bow Street mm-hmm. Mall. Bow Street Mall. The one in Bangor flagship. Mm-hmm. Fucking tore my childhood apart when I closed it. Oh, really? Uh, it's it, not closed? Yeah, it's closed now. It was open. The only shop in it open for like seven years was uh, fucking Poundland. <laughs> and it was a full shopping mall open for a Poundland. <laughs> and it used to be class. It used to have a banging food court. Going around any. Conswater's a wee bit better. But going around shopping centres now that used to be Present great. Park centre used to be class. No, the park centre's where you go if you want to see people hitting their kids. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Which I do. See if you don't like kids or you don't have kids, go to the park yeah. centre. They're good. I'm sitting there with a big fucking there. Auntie Annie's pretzel. That's, just that's, um, sm- smack. But they're... <laughs> Like the next advert for Park Centre. <laughs> park Centre. Beat you. See when I get you fucking home. <laughs> park Centre. Beat your kids here. Yeah. So, <laughs> don't beat them at home. Beat Bring them, them out for the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Park Centre. Yeah. No, you can't have a fucking subway. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I love Put that down. Put that down. Put that down. 
I love when you hear a kid ask for something politely and the mom goes nuts. <laughs> Mommy, can I please have a toy? Fuck up, Brent! <laughs> yeah. I told you no! And you're like, Ronaldo, oh. you've already got what I am in the fucking house. <laughs> Ronaldo. <laughs> or is it Ronaldo? I heard a woman calling her kid Ronaldo and I was just like, excellent. <laughs> I remember Pink. hearing a kid called Keanu running about before. Was Keanu? Like, Keanu! <laughs> Rihanna Lee! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Rihanna. Do you ever hear a kid's name and go, she's got no chance in life? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Katrina Lisa Stacey, get back here now! Like, you know what fucking names are? Upper, you've doomed her from the start. There's loads of Sammy Joes. Sammy Joe. Sammy Joe. Any, Demi anything. Demi Lee. Yep. Demi, Demi Lee. Demi Maria. And you're like, ah, yeah. Demi Brona. Marie. What? Brona. Fuck <laughs> off, yeah. But you know something? My name's Irish for like sorrow, sadness. I was just like, thanks, ma. Brona's a very, that's a very common name. I like the name Brona. Do you? Yeah. Weren't, weren't many where I was growing up, but I do like this. Yeah, <laughs> not a lot of vadas where you come from. There was no vadas. <laughs> no vadas. I still don't really respect the father no. in name. No, you have to get a vada. I don't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Vada. I'm not doing shortcuts. You didn't have your father. Have yeah. you the place? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Vada, <laughs> vada, <laughs> <laughs> love you. Are we going back to fucking the jazz? Like, oh, that's how you know. That, yeah, that's how you know that Luke. Luke from Star Wars spoke Gaelic, didn't he? <laughs> but like, he had a father. <laughs> I am your I, father. It just, <laughs> it just pisses me off when there's people I knew. Terrible joke, sorry. Uh, and their name would be like, oh, K- Katrina Smith. And then they go to uni for two weeks and their name is like, Katrina, Katrina Nakuni. Like, yeah. It was never that. And I'm not I'm not spelling it now. Mm. I'm no. not doing it. Yeah. it. There's people like that have the most like British yeah. name. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then they'll, just, to- they'll just put a few photos. Yeah. About the yeah. place, and you're like, that doesn't make it Irish. Yeah, <laughs> <That Paisley>. doesn- <laughs> you're like, knee Paisley. <laughs> no, put, put the father in the name. I have to do shortcut and, and type. I, I don't even know where it is in the keyboard. I'm not doing Alt, it. Control Alt, and then like your wee O. It's I different, have a it's over different my on, the, on see on Max, they're discriminatory against good tags. Good because do you know what the good thing about having a Vada in your name is sorry. Fuckers can't tag you and stuff online. See people that don't know how to do a fada, they go, I can't fucking I don't, tag you. I don't anything. get tagged on anything. Good. But it's not because of the fada and my name, it's just because I've known friends. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just Stop no one likes it. It's in my head, I was going, like, You don't have one, I'm trying to think. I do have a fada in my name. In the end. Sean. Uh, my, Sean. I'm, my name is actually Sean. 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 And in school, I was called <laughs> Sean. Stop anglicizing his name, William. Sit, say it red. Right. Right, stop correcting right, people. Say it red, right, okay? I'm going to call you fucking Wolf Tones, fucking Sean. Can I call you Liam? I would love to be called Liam. It's a way better name. And ironically, you are Liam. Yeah, uh, yeah. My, I want to change. <laughs> my, I want to change my name to Liam. Um, my mum wouldn't let me do it. Cause she's like, no, because it's our policy. People are gonna go Liam. Oh. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? No one says that anymore. Yeah, nobody says. I sure. Um, like, He's like, it's a step up from spastic, mommy. Yeah, please, yeah. Let me. <laughs> I, yeah, I said to Nicole, <laughs> we, we've been thinking of baby names for when the baby comes here, and uh, and I was going, you know what? I really like the name Alex. She's going. No, it can't be Alex. Sounds like, like why? Because it sounds like bollocks. Yeah. It'll be called Alec no bollocks <laughs> or Alex the bollocks. Alex loves bollocks. Or sorry, yeah. bollocks. Or bollocks. <laughs> going yeah. about the place and I was going, no, I going to say that. Yes, they are. Yeah, not to a baby. <laughs> but you'll find a name. <laughs> yeah, in the playground, maybe you'll find something to make different. fun of anything. Any name. Le- funny enough, Liam is the front runner like at the moment. Liam, is it? I like mm-hmm. Liam. It's a good name, and I will call him when you're Liam. <laughs> well, that's the thing. So, oh, like- Paddy, we so got it if you name your child after me. <laughs> Paddy, be so angry. Do it, and it's worth it for that alone. <laughs> Liam, oh my God, yes. <laughs> see, this is the thing. Your child is the disabled see, tattoo. See, are like uh, see, of- because I'm the. The youngest of all of us. So, and they've all had a hundred kids. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Yours is actually going to be special. And Paddy's got the but, most but, Irish names but ever made. If, all the names, no for naming after people, like our like grandparents or parents mm-hmm. or whatever, the names are all taken. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there's yeah. very little to choose from now. And it's, it's hard when you come from an Irish family because every male member of your family is called Patrick. Mm. So like, <laughs> yeah. so you got him. The only like our granda was called Andrew. Yeah. So I was going, I'll call him Andrew, and then the co was like, no, because you work with Andrew. Oh. And I was going like, oh, yeah, and he'll right think now. he's named yeah. after and, him. And then I was like, do that though, and just get all his money and be like, yeah, I need my kid after you. <laughs> then I loved um, Matthew, and then my mates called Matt. So I can't, yeah. I can't do that. And you then, can't discriminate. 
comes up. <laughs> and I'm like Ricardo. So then, I, so like we're, we're like Ricardo. lame, and I haven't even fucking considered yet that like that also means William, William in, so, in Irish. So Which, I'm like, for fuck's sake! I hope you do out. call it that because I will just rub that in Paddy's face. Do so lame, but spell it L I O M. Lum, 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 lum. That means Live, laugh, lum. lum in Irish means lum, with lum. me. Does it? Mm-hmm. Lum. Wait, no, don't, uh, don't speak it. I love you so <laughs> do. I'm, I'm, I'm go over to the Patreon. Don't know. Yes, go ahead over to the yes. Patreon where I continue oh, to. Oh, and ask see if you're Irish. watching this, please. Right, I have an appeal to make. You can sponsor a smelly chap. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I am doing a wee tour next month and in April. So it's only a wee show I'm doing. But come and see me because I need people to buy tickets. Yeah. I I need, I'm doing the Sunflower. I'm doing Thornbreeze. They're all right. I'm doing Newry and like, where am I doing? Cookstown. And I'm going to be doing Down Patrick because Down Patrick doesn't get enough comedy. I don't think they don't have any shows. But they do it. actually, I think. But... Yes, you asked me to do Down Patrick and I had a gig. Yeah, I can and do And now I don't. I know. Mm-hmm. No. But yeah, when is that? Saturday. Oh, right. That's but Saturday. someone said, yeah, once you said no, I asked. I'm sorry, I asked someone else. Oh, it's okay, I said it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'd stay it on. But yes, please, 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 because I will die off if I show up and there's only like two people there. Yeah. Tell them I'm funny. Please. Yeah, she is funny. She is funny. I am. I am. Funny. She is funny. I'm all right. Like, I am. Speaking of it. Do you know what? If you don't laugh, you get your money back. Speaking of tours. Uh, I'm going on tour in the winter, um, doing the Waterfront Hall in Scumbag Belfast. Scumbag Millionaire. Scumbag Millionaire. Doing the Millennium Forum in Derry. I'm doing the Bank in Newry. I'm doing Balamina. I'm doing Oma. I'm doing other places that I can't remember. I'm really bad at remembering where I'm doing. Sean, I'll put our posters up. I'm doing Maherfelt. I'm doing the Terrace Hotel. Or is that Maherat? No, it's Maherfelt. Maher- the Terrace? The terrace? The, the Terrace. The Terrace. Is I thought lovely. you said the Terrace. The Terrace Hotel. Hotel. No, the Terrace. I'm doing Mafferfelt. I thought it was a joke because it was called like the Jim no. Payne Hotel. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's just gone by my nerd. Tickets went on sale today. I'm doing the Sugar Club in Dublin. Um, come see it. Come Dublin. see it. Come see it. Yes, thank come you for watching. Come buy tickets to me. Come see me. Oh, and watch Word Up if you can. Word Up podcast. And listen to Search Party's new song, Paradise. Yeah. <laughs> Just do all the things, I Do please. all the things, all at once. Yes, yeah. everything, all, all the time, once. all at once. Come to my show, listen to her podcast, and watch a music video for his band. Absolutely. Dead on. Wearing a Search Party yeah. t-shirt. And head on over to the Patreon episode. We're doing a and a See, other than that, have a good week.